Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me on the first official episode of The Clutch Corner. For those that don't know, The Clutch Corner is an insider's NBA show that is an extension of the Five on the Floor podcast, and it will premiere every Tuesday night live on YouTube and will be posted on all your favorite podcast streaming services the following day. Every week, I'll be joined by my friend and fellow contributor of Five Reasons Sports, Royal A. Shepard, so that we can fulfill the one black guy personal requirement that Ethan gave me in the Five Reasons Handbook. We'll also have special guests from time to time, and for tonight's episode, I am so happy to say we will have the elusive, ever so popular, meet Twitter legend, Chef Trilly. I'm happy to call Chef Trilly my friend, and will shamelessly add that the Clutch Corner will in fact be the first show that Chef Trilly has ever been on. So I'll make sure to brag about that to our friends at Heat Beat and to Ethan. Tonight, we'll talk all things James Harden, from potential trades to what we're hearing around NBA league circles. We'll also answer questions from Heat fans that were submitted to me last week. And when, trust me when I say this, we will not be holding back. So all our bad takes will be heard. So without further ado, this is The Clutch Corner. <laughs> Clutch is an asshole. I just want to let everybody know that. <laughs> Welcome to the first edition of the Clutch Corner. Uh, I'm Royal. I don't know why I'm doing this because this is Clutch's show. So, Clutch, could you please take control of your show, bro, and introduce our guest? All right. Welcome to the show. We've got Hero Fan 281, aka Chef Trilly, my friend now Austin. We're rocking. How now you doing, bro? What's good, bro? How y'all doing? Show, show us your shirt. Oh, you know, just got in the mail today. I kept my tax, though, just in case, you know, it gets shipped to it. Houston. So, yeah. Shout out to my you favorite the, player, Baby Goat. You kept the tags? Of course. All right. That's good. That's good. All right. So, I mean, uh, as we said, we're we're happy that you're here. It's your first show, right, that, that you've yes, ever been on? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm glad that this is the first one you've been on so I can, I can brag about it to Ethan and all the other guys. Of five course. reasons you, you the you the homie so i had to do it i got you i got you so i mean let's just jump right into it right so uh the biggest news that that came out today was Giannis signing the supermax i think that was really good timing but uh royal what are your thoughts uh it, it, especially when as it pertains to the heat i felt like they know something they knew something long ago uh and it kind of just uh sets the tone when they said when they signed bam's uh extension I think that was kind of like writing on the wall that the Heat knew something that other teams didn't know. And so we turned out all right in this situation where we didn't end up, uh, you know, offending Bam <laughs> uh, in the process. But, I mean, I'm I'm good with it. You know, I, on to the next. <laughs> that's that's how the Heat do anyway. Truly? Um, you know, I wanted Harden from the beginning, so I really didn't care about Giannis. He doesn't have a jump shot. He wouldn't have fit with Bam, so, like, Harden would have been the best fit, and you know, Bill was the second best fit. So, we just move on to the next one. It, for me, it's not the next guy. Like, uh, Harden fits better, anyways, and they just beat Giannis in five games. Like, exactly. And people all, fail to realize that Giannis and Bam would have been a shaky fit. Like, it would have been was, a terrible fit with yeah, Butler that, that, too. That's, that's the elephant in the room, and people just like keep ignoring it. Right, uh, and with Bam signing that extension, you knew you had to give up at the very least Tyler Hero to get Giannis in the first place. So, like, what you really, me. yeah. <laughs> so what you're really trading for is you're trading for. Whoa, like, y'all just go kill <laughs> the man. Just got his Tyler Hero jersey in the mail today, and talk about fine by me. <laughs> you talk about you got to give him up for Harden. Boy, you a savage. <laughs> Fine by me. It was only thirty-four dollars. So I was thirty-four dollars. You spent thirty-four dollars on that. Yeah, 
It's going to be discounted in about two weeks. Oh, that is true. Probably sent to Nigeria or something like that. All right, all right. So, uh, look, I think at the end, at the end of the day, Harden has a real, like, a realistic chance of ending up in Miami if Philly doesn't offer Ben. But I think eventually they will. But if if Philly doesn't offer Ben Simmons, Harden to all those strip clubs in Miami is is a real possibility. The, and I think I think a dark horse is probably Toronto. Wouldn't you feel yeah. so? Yeah, Toronto, Toronto for sure. What Toronto? about uh, what about Denver? I uh, I think Denver has like enough assets to be able to you know kind of make some shake. I mean, what what do they have? They have to offer MPJ, Bol Bol, and salary filler and a bunch of picks. Maybe is that Gary, better? Maybe how, Gary how Harris. You, how would you feel about a Jamal Murray and James Harden backcourt though? Like. They kind of do the same things, wouldn't you think? Yeah, but yeah. what about what about the Nets? The Nets have Kyrie, and they would have. Tr- they're trying to get James Harden. Are they? Like, yeah. Still, they're they're not gonna get him because if the he have Hero on the table, they're not gonna get the Nets aren't gonna get James Harden. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I, out of all the teams that's interested, like at the moment, I think we have the best offer until someone else steps in. Unless you talk about Philadelphia, Philadelphia, they offering Ben, and I don't think we have a player that can match uh, that in the term in level of like, I mean, just impact. Right. I don't think and they're offering Ben yet. You guys think they're offering Ben? Not yet. Like, not not yet. I don't think they're offering him yet. But I mean, I think it's only a matter of time uh, before they do. Yeah. If if I was in their shoes, I wouldn't offer him because he's under twenty five, all NBA player, and like, I wouldn't have offered him. I'd offer Harden. Joel. Yeah, I I definitely do Joel for Harden straight up. Yeah, I definitely yeah. do that. Yeah, but uh, but I don't think Darren Murray wants to do that. I think he likes Joel and, and plus, he'd rather. Yeah, and plus Joel's the fan favorite over there. Like more Philly fans love Joel more than Ben. Yeah, yeah, but I I mean I like Ben more, but I mean whatever. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean Toronto. I, 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 this is off topic, but like gun to your head, would you rather have Ben Simmons or Ben Adebayo? Like keep one hundred. Ben Simmons. Me too, but if I say that, I'll get killed. Well, well I mean, you just said it, so. <laughs> I'd rather have Bam. I'd rather have, like, Ben can do every single thing Bam can do and better. See, me and Trilly are on the same wavelength. Anything that we talk. <laughs> Come on, what, what does what does Bam does what does Bam do better than Ben? Like, I think I think just the, the ability to guard the fives. When you add in his ability to guard fives, I don't think Ben guards the five. Ben can guard one through four. Yeah, and Ben plays defense at a high level, and he handles the ball better. But he don't. Oh, I think I think Bam shoots the ball outside of ten feet better. I mean, I can shoot That's the true. ball outside ten feet better than Bam. <laughs> yeah, but also I think when you add in the fact that uh, Bam has, can guard fives, Bam can guard one through five. Ben stops at four. I think that's what kind of tilts it. But that's a good ass question that I never thought about you. Yeah, they're they're both on the same level. Like if you lean either way, I wouldn't have a problem. But like he fans think like. Bam is like this way better, and that's not the case at all. Ben Ben is the second coming Magic Johnson, just without a jumper. You can or say that. Is that LeBron? No, LeBron had a jumper. Like, like imagine, imagine Ben like in Milwaukee instead of Giannis. Like he'll average t- twenty, ten, and ten. Wouldn't you think so? Surrounded by shooters. Yeah, that, that's Definitely. who I compare Ben to a lot. He's like a smaller Giannis to me, but with like a better passer. Yeah, I mean. That's kind of why I'm concerned about Philly this year because they they actually have a coach now and they they're surrounding Ben with Seth Curry and Odd Year Danny Green and Odd Year Danny Green's a monster, <laughs> like not like he is he's a monster. So I, I bet you he's gonna shoot forty percent from three this season. Is but... a washed up Dwayne Wade guarding him though? Is washed up who? A washed up Dwayne Wade guarding him because that's the only time like he went off in the finals. <laughs> I mean Tyler Hero is gonna be guarding him. I mean, he made KCP look like an all star. So, remember that dunk he had that KCP had in the finals? I try to forget the finals. Like, (laughs) did you watch like the first half of like game six, the way Bam was playing? Like, I checked out after that. I I haven't watched a single finals game or rewatched one ever since then. No, I'm not gonna put myself through that torture either, bro. I I love watching the Celtics series. I watched, oh, yeah, 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 I can watch that bitch on repeat. That was Bam's coming out party, and then he just had to get injured like the next round. Like, 
the basketball gods hate us. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. So, I mean, all right. So, let's talk about the possibility of, of James Harden more. So, what would the offer have to be for Miami to get him? I've said this time and time again. Everything short of Jimmy and Bam. So, I think um, – you, you're giving up Tyler. I think Duncan's value has only increased, and so they're going to want Duncan too. So, like, I, I think there's, like, this pie-in-the-sky uh, thing where people want to try and keep either Hero or Duncan. You're not keeping either one of them. Um, then you'd have to give up uh, KO or Iggy and Iggy. Both, yeah. Yeah, to make that money uh, work. And somebody, someone either KZ or Precious, but and plus those two first-round picks. So I think you have to give up quite a bit to get them. Or even just to compete with uh, Ben Simmons and three first round picks or whatever in the fuck it is. Truly, really? there's there's no way there's no way like Philly Wofford Ben and three first round picks. You don't think so? Like there's no way like I don't think nah. I don't think like that's a package for Luca or someone like that. Yeah, they what they won't offer that. They they won't make that offer. Uh, they'll eventually cave. I think for Ben and one first, but uh, yeah, probably that. But yeah, yeah so back, back to Harden like. As you know, I'll offer anyone except for Jimmy or Bam. And, like, I think me and you were speaking, like, the other day, like, something interesting. Like, we don't have to send Duncan Robinson to Houston, but we can, like, reroute him to another contender and probably flip him for two more picks and, like, send those picks to Houston and have yeah. Tyler Hero as a headliner. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, I've said this time and time again. A lot of people are saying that Duncan Robinson is this great asset that Houston would like. What is Duncan Robinson going to do on a team that's headed for the lottery? Like, what is he going to do? Run around screens all day for, like, I'm not, not going to lie. Like, John Wall surrounded by Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson. Like, that will get his trade value up. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that'll look good. But I don't think that when you trade James Harden, you're not going to be contending. You're not even – in the West, I don't think you're going to make the playoffs, right? John Wall, Boogie, Christian Wood, that's not a playoff team. Oh, definitely so, not. No. <laughs> do they even have their pick? I don't think they have their pick this year. They don't have their pick. Oh, so probably they do need a competitive team. So they could compete this year and then Blow break it, it all down. Yeah. They'll, they'll pull a page out of the Thunder handbook. But, I mean, what are you going to do with Duncan Robinson on that team this year when you're not really going for anything? I think you'd rather get two picks out of him. The real asset here is, is Tyler. You could try – Try to trade Kelly to another contender. You could trade Iggy to another contender. And then you have probably a guy like Precious or, or a guy like KZ. Honestly, I would give them both up, but that's just me. I'll give everyone up. k <laughs> KZ, Precious, Hero, Iggy. I've Kelly. been saying that, but I've been like – People have been putting me at the stake for what for saying that. Like, call them out, man. Ethan, <laughs> all right, Ethan, yesterday. So, I said, Ethan, all right. So, in our group chat yesterday, I told Ethan, You see what this team looks like with Bam and Jimmy off the court when they're sitting down? Nobody like, can they, create separation, they forget how to play basketball. So, like, Tyler was supposed to be the next Devin Booker, but like, he cannot ISO at all. Like, he's good off coming off the of screens and pin downs and shit like that, but he's not going to be a number one type option in the future. He, he can't create for himself off the dribble. That's why you and me, we like a guy like Zach Levine because outside of Jimmy and Bam, you don't have a guy who can literally get his own shot whenever he wants to. Bam does everything for this offense. And and getting you know, getting free off of pin downs for Tyler Hero is is a huge part of Tyler Hero's game. I don't think he's gonna be able to have an ISO game. So that's why we're big proponents of getting James Harden, because he'll be that guy that gets a bucket whenever you want. And then the other thing is when Bam is off the court and Jimmy's off the court and you have nobody, like, I get it, Goron will be back and he'll be playing those minutes, but he's 35, he's coming off of a big injury. You don't have that guy to help your offense when those two guys are off the court. And if you guys go get James Harden, you will always have James Harden, Bam, or Jimmy at least two of them on the court at the same time. And exactly. I think that's the biggest thing. I agree. And people don't realize, like, we still get to keep Avery Bradley, Mo Harkless, Goran Dragic. Like, we're not necessarily giving up everyone. Myers. I mean, that doesn't do much, but... Oh, you, brother. I was to say, did you see Myers last night? 
Hey, Precious a jump shot away from taking all of Myers' minutes. Do you think? Do you think he got paid because he was white? I think that I think his I think his voice on the bench, all that uh, raw, raw cheerleader shit that he was doing during the playoffs. I think that kind of like struck a chord with a lot of people in the organization, and so I think that was. I don't. I, I know they didn't pay him for the way he plays basketball. I know that's that. The, that's the most professional response I've ever heard. We 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 signed him as the um salary cap filler. Like you know, Mars not getting eight million dollars in the market. So like we had a handshake agreement with him. Like if we give you eight million dollars, like you gotta agree to not veto any trade if we trade you. And he's like, okay, because there's a bank in every city. So like, why wouldn't he take the eight million dollars if that was the case? That's true. That's true. I mean, all right. So, what would the team look like if they trade everything for James Harden? So, your point guard would be Harden. James Harden. Your shooting guard would be who? Avery Bradley? Yeah. Yeah. Small forward would be Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, power forward? Mo? Marcus. Mo. Or maybe we can get PJ Sam. Tucker. Like, I'm praying we can get PJ Tucker too. Yeah. You can't get both of them. I did the math. So. You can't. Well, it's, oh, it's just can't. like, what else can you get back from Houston uh, from their roster in a trade like this? Like, is there you can point? you can get Tucker back if the trade is in a few months, but if you want to do it now, you can't get PJ Tucker back because the oh, Heat don't have enough salary. So we're talking Mo Harkless at the four, Bam at the five. Now, what's your bench looking like? Gabe Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan J. Skolnick, Barry Jackson, <laughs> Our Winderman, <laughs> and, and Hassan. <laughs> Hassan. <laughs> hey, Dion, with um, champion, she's still a free agent, so that's true. That's true. No, but for real, for real, like who who's on that bench? Like, shit, nothing. Myers, Myers. Goran, Myers Goran, Goran, Goran Dragic, Goran Myers, and Myers. Myers. So. <laughs> We're missing three guys. I'm, 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 I'm sure Houston's gonna like send us back some like minimum contract players. Would not you think? No, and and not only that, but you'll you'll pick some guys up off the free agent market. There's some guys that still haven't been signed that can contribute to a team. And and when you have a guy like James Harden and Jimmy and Bam on your team, it's not hard to get guys. Like just look at the Lakers last year. Yeah, and then the, then doesn't this make us like players in the buyout market again? Like that's yeah, exactly. That's kind of like that's kind of where we ate during the big three era. Like that's, and I think that's going to be a similar situation to what we have when we get Harden. Like initially, it won't be pretty, but eventually, it's kind of like the it's going to be the moves after these that are going to make the team what it's going to be come to playoffs. Right, and like okay, so right now the way I'm looking at it is you still have Gordon, you still have Myers, so there's three spots on the bench that still need to be filled, and like. They don't need to be filled because come playoff time, you're only playing seven or eight guys, anyways. So I'm not trying to play Myers though. So like at the most, we only have six people. That's how I'm yeah. doing it. And then on top of this, during this exercise, we're we're giving up almost everybody on the roster. It's inevitable that we're going to keep something that we're talking about giving up. So no. maybe. So you think you think we're gonna give up? KZ and Precious. I think if you want James Harden and you, you want to. to make sure that you get him right now, that's the deal that has to be made. Look, no, Precious. Just tell, just tell Houston they can't have anyone except for Jimmy or Bam. Yeah, but it's like we have to make the, the roster spots match too, right? Like we got to get something back. No, yeah, we're getting back a top five player. <laughs> He's a one man offense. Like, like you saw, he um took to the Western Conference Finals like a few years ago. Like, Terrence Jones, who else? Patrick Rhino. Gregory, like, like he's a one man offense. Remember when Sam Decker was on that team? Exactly. Like he's a one man <laughs> offense. What Royal? Where's Sam Decker now? <laughs> he's shit, in groceries at a Walmart in Idaho or some shit like that. He, I don't know, bro. He's gonna be playing with Max Struess soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spe speaking of Duncan and like Hero, like we groomed up Max Struss so like he can be our next Duncan. Oh yeah. First yeah, of yeah. all, did you see that boy play last night? I don't ever want to see that man play basketball again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the I'm best good. tweet of the night. The best tweet of the night was like Nakai's duck, and he was like, "I've never seen th this guy." What, what did he say? He was like, he "The worst basketball player he's ever seen in his life." And this was like two minutes into his playing time. Yo, that bit was awful, bro. <laughs> like, I was not. I mean, kidding. he he was heating up in the fourth quarter. I'll give him that. Yeah, and then he went, got right back cold and started missing all over again. <laughs> 
Like, what the fuck? Like, bro, you're supposed to be a shooter. What the hell? You can't do nothing. He shot about. three air balls. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's how Duncan was in, like, 2018, 2019. No, season. no, bro. Nah, fuck Duncan, that. No, bro. <laughs> like, Duncan was horrible. Like, I hated his guts, bro. Like, I remember when, we, right. went, um, remember when we went to um the big three game in the um, yeah, yeah, yeah. hallway, and we saw Duncan. Like, I just walked right past him, bro. Like, I didn't want to acknowledge him, bro. I remember that. We were, that's how so much we were, I hated him. All right, you and me, we were at the Big Three uh, basketball game, and we saw Bam. We saw Tyler Johnson. We saw – who Tyler else? Tyler Johnson we saw... was so high, bro. Like, I don't know what type of drugs he was on, but, like, he was high as hell. He was. I got a picture with him, so that's important. <laughs> we also – we saw James Johnson, didn't we? Yeah, we saw James Johnson, Reggie yeah, Evans. That... Yeah, we also saw Duncan, but, like, we walked right past him. We didn't even acknowledge yeah. his existence. He was, like, Max Truss at the time, like – I hated his guts. I don't know, but that boy just got to come out firing that hole off in his next game, bro. He I'm injured like, our best asset. You you <laughs> feel me, bro? He hit Tyler Hero right in the face. Oh, bro, get his ass out of here. Send him to Houston, too. Can I mean, we even trade him? Probably... He's not eligible to get traded. But... Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Buy him a ticket. Get, get out of here. <laughs> Send him a ticket to Houston. Say we traded you to Houston, even though you can't be traded. <laughs> he asked, "What do, what do we get back?" And and you say we got a we got a few few trips back. <laughs> I'm telling you, we got some sky miles, <laughs> like something. Yeah. All right. So uh, what else? What else we got to talk about? So we talked to James Harden. We talked about what we take to get him. We talked about these other teams. So Toronto, Miami. Brooklyn and Philly. Are there any other teams? Um, we did mention Toronto, right? Yeah, yeah. Didn't you 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 brought up Atlanta a couple weeks ago, didn't you? Uh, Atlanta was for Giannis, but that's that's out of the that means nothing now. So I mean, I mean, here's what I want to talk about. So now that Giannis signed his supermax, what does that mean for the Heat, right? I said this time and time again. You always have to go for the whale that's right in front of you now. Don't wait for a pipe dream. Don't wait for something that could and could or might not happen because you don't know what could happen in the future. So Giannis is off the board. Could you imagine if we were living in a world where James Harden was traded to the Nets like three days ago, right? Like where would the Heat be right now? You have the only one left would be Bradley Beal, and he doesn't want to leave. And Bradley Beal now, he the price for him would go up, right? Because you still have Brooklyn, mm-hmm. you still have Denver, you have Atlanta, you have all these uh, Toronto and Miami, all would be going for a guy like Bradley Beal. So even that's not a guy that you can call a lock. And we hear all this talk about them saving for 2021, but that market is not what it was made out to be just a year ago. But right? so, to like, be who's fair, left? we know like we know who's a lock in 2021. Like if you really want him, it's Victor Oladipo. And DeMar. Yeah. And Aldridge. But like if, if Victor Oladipo plays like a top 20 player like this year, would you like sign him in 2021? I would sign him, but I wouldn't like we don't have any cap space, but I wouldn't I wouldn't give up Tyler Hero to sign him. Oh, I definitely not. Like you know how much I love Tyler Hero, I wouldn't give him up for all the deep. Absolutely, we we know how much you love him. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, Miami loves him just as much. Like, they're he's not in any conversation that doesn't involve a top five player. Royal, I don't know if you could tell, but he that was a little bit of sarcasm from from Chris. <laughs> no, I can't. He he came on the show with his name Hero Fan Two Eight One. Bro, listen, bro. I get trolled constantly on Twitter, bro. But I, sh- I told you I'm new back to the Twitter verse, bro. I just I got you. But for real, like I wouldn't trade Tyler Hero for Victor Oladipo. Like the only players I train for is someone that's on the same level as Jimmy and Bam or better. Like Bradley Beal's on the same level. Harden is better. Drew wasn't on that level, so I wouldn't have done Hero for Drew. Giannis, he's in a different stratosphere. So like, of course. But, like if you're Absolutely. worse than Jimmy or Bam, I'm not trading Hero for you. Oh, I mean, and the other thing, just because Giannis signed a five-year extension, that doesn't mean he could be he, he won't be traded in three years. Like I don't think that Bucks team is winning a championship anytime soon. Absolutely you? not. No, even after he signs the extension, like if everything remains as it is, I still believe Miami's like 
right there in terms of being able to compete in the Eastern Conference. Like, even though he signed that max, we still can kick their ass in the playoffs. I mean, I, I'm I'm concerned about that for the Heat. Uh, like, let's say let's say the Raptors, for instance, get James Harden. So now you're looking at an Eastern Conference that has a Raptors that's improved to James Harden, a Brooklyn Nets team that will be a flamethrower on offense, the Bucks with Drew Holiday, the Sixers with an actual coach and an actual roster that fits that team. Pacers aren't injured anymore. And then the Heat, who came back with the same. Got the Celtics, team. like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are improving. The Celtics are going to come back wiser. Yeah, that's the important thing. They've lost enough finals. Uh, Eastern that Conference people finals. people talk about Bam is only twenty three and he has no ceiling, but they forget Jason Tatum is in that same like category. He's he's a lot of people think that Jason Tatum is better than Bam right now. So I mean, oh, whatever you say about Bam, same thing goes to Jason Tatum. He has just as much you know time to improve so if the heat come back with the same roster i kind of feel like they might be in trouble right like any one of the first four seeds or first five seeds could win the eastern conference i wouldn't say i wouldn't say we're in trouble i just feel like the east is catching up and i wouldn't like guarantee us going back to the finals right uh maybe in trouble is the wrong way to phrase it but they're yeah, definitely you know you know they're, they'll attack you oh my god i know <laughs> I know. Clutch said everybody, the Heat are in trouble, that they're not getting anybody. Clutch oh. said the Heat suck. Yeah. I mean, they sucked yesterday. That oh, interior, and that interior defense, bro. That's the other thing. Ethan, Ethan on the pod yesterday, he was like, Adam thinks that this one game means that they should go get Harden because of their defense. No, Ethan, listen, I said they should get James Harden off of the fact that. All of last year, they struggled with their point-of-attack defense, their interior defense. They were not a good defensive team at all. And what we saw yesterday was a continuation of what we saw last year. And it was not based off of just yesterday's game, right? We saw this. This is a trend. The team is not a good defensive team, and we lost Jay Crowder. I get that we have new pieces with Avery Bradley and Mo Harkless, but those guys are not going to fix the problems that – T Rex and Duncan Robinson had last year. <laughs> like, but I'm not you trading saw, for James. You saw it a little bit yesterday, though. Even Mo Harkless, is like, yeah, people can tout him as the Jay Crowder replacement. Like, he was getting his ass bullied by. He got fouled I'm, out in 13 minutes. I mean, <laughs> I mean Zion is Zion. Like, there's no one on yeah. earth that can. Die yeah, but I'm just saying, like, even like Jay Crowder is stronger physically than Mo Harkless. That's definitely so, true. So if they're going to have to play up, then that helps. In that regard, and, you know, I just – I don't know. Here, the thing I'm concerned about is anytime you watch the Heat in an important series or an important game last year in the bubble, find me a time where Jay Crowder wasn't on the court. He was, he was in, always he was, on the he court. He was in 90% of our closing lineups. Well, he, he was always on the court whenever something big was happening for the Heat. And now he's gone. So you got to find a way to replace that production. I mean, right? Casey's supposed to be that guy, but like the way he was playing offense yesterday, it seemed like he's still nervous. I hope it's just first game jitters, though. He just sat in the corner and watched the offense flow. Like he didn't do anything. But I mean, I agree. I hope it's just first game jitters. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think his body type will help us uh, the same way Jay did defensively either. He still is relatively thin himself, so I think uh, his length may be more of a factor in that regard. But. I mean, he's still relatively skinny. We need somebody who's going to be able to get some damn rebounds, bro. Like that, we need interior defense and we need rebounding, and we don't have that. And part of part of the problem is what we were talking about earlier. Like we gave that money to Myers that we could have used on a different type of player that would actually help us. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. All right, so I mean, I guess since we talked about James Harden this entire episode, I think we should close it off. Just. One more time. What do you guys think are the chances that James Harden ends up on the Heat? Uh, Royal? Uh, I, at this point, I'd give it a 50-50 chance. I think we offer them the second best package behind Philly, what Philly could offer. And so uh, it's a toss-up about whether or not they want to deal with Darren Moore. If they want to be spiteful, they can deal him to us. And I think we have enough to get it done. Do you think it happens? 
No, I think you've convinced me that the deal is going to happen to Philly. All right. Trilly? 1% chance. 1%? I'm get my hope. Yeah, I'm going to get my hopes up. Because I, I honestly don't feel like the rest of the league views Tyler Hero the way he found you, Tyler Hero. Like, wouldn't you think? Like, Tyler Hero is not headlining a trade package for, like, a top five player. Uh, I think Tyler Hero is enough to be the blue chip prospect to headline a trade, but I don't think like he's not a Ben Simmons where you could do a straight one-on-one trade. I think Tyler Hero is the kind of guy where you need more picks and you need other, you know, rookie scale contract players to add to a deal, but he could be the headliner of a deal. I think that. I think if a team is headed for like a rebuild, like Houston would be after trading James Harden, then Tyler Tyler Hero is damn sure a nice piece to have as somewhat of a building block that you can kind of like start to form a team around. He's not a franchise guy, but he's a guy where you can plug in and and know that you have, you know, a good potential here. You know, he's not like a a DeMar DeRozan that the Spurs got for Kawhi Leonard, but he's he's a young guy. He could be an all-star. He could be I don't I want I don't want to say superstar, but look, he'll be a good scorer. We we can we're sure of that. He'll be a he's, good scorer. He's going to be a good third option, maybe second option in his prime. Arguing right. that, but yeah, I don't exactly. see like a franchise top player. Right, exactly. And when you look at it, he doesn't fit the timeline for Jimmy. Everything that the Heat should be doing should be around Jimmy's timeline. And Giannis is out the window now. If you want to improve this team, you know Hero has to be included in a trade. Is exactly. is it really should be around Jimmy's timeline? Because I mean, like Bam's contract doesn't i mean i think they're trying to build around bam's timeline what well, what was the point of signing jimmy if we're not building around his timeline i mean that's that's true i guess kind of usher in the bam air i get that but look when you sign jimmy and you tell him we are going to build a yeah. super team around you like yeah you expect that that's what they're gonna do correct me if i'm wrong but like if bam didn't like make that leap to all-star like stardom Last season, he definitely would have been in a trade for Bradley Beal. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah, I would have put him in a trade for Brad. I mean, we were talking about it, I think, last year. Like, you and me were saying Bradley Beal is a guy you want to pair with Jimmy. All the rest of these guys are unknowns, right? We didn't know if Bam was going to be an all star. Exactly. So, like, in hindsight, yeah, it was a good thing they didn't make a trade for Bradley Beal because Bam is the, well, the franchise guy. But like you didn't know that coming in, which is why you shouldn't hold on to the idea that Hero is going to be an all-star. Just because Bam was an all-star doesn't mean anything. Just because he scored 37 in the bubble doesn't mean you should hold him out for a guy like James Harden. Like you still make that move, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And plus yeah. there's a lot of guard competition in the East. Like I don't think there's any way he makes an all-star team this season. Who uh, Tyler? Not, not this season, but I think to say that he won't make an All Star game. Like no, I'm talking. Next- about, I'm talking about this season, like because oh, there's yeah, legit okay. fans that think he's gonna make an All Star team this season. I'm like, me you hold your horses on that. Now nah, Russ is in the East now too, so that just adds more to the uh, depth of people that are in front of him. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I guess I guess that's it for the for the day, right? We guys have anything else you want to touch on? There's no questions. Like, weren't you supposed to ask, answer some? Yeah, you supposed to ask questions. All right, we we can ask the questions. Pretty sure we. I, I'm pretty sure I know all the questions, so I'm pretty sure we hit on all of them. Question <laughs> one: Harden to Miami. Question two: Will we trade for James Harden? <laughs> Question three: Is Tyler Hero untouchable for James Harden? Question four: Is Tyler Hero enough for James Harden? <laughs> All right, all right. Here, here we have we have Caleb, Caleb Heat. He's saying, I see Bam getting Defensive Player of the Year and all second team. What are your thoughts? I think AD's winning Defensive Player of the Year. Like, that's pretty much wrapped up. That's you a think? media-driven award. And, you know, people think he got robbed last year. And I think okay. it's going to AD. Okay. I, unless, I, I, unless, unless the Heat is a, a first seed and, like, we have an elite defense. That's the only way I see Bam winning it. They're not going to have an elite defense. Nah. Bam's going to have a great year on defense because he's going to have so many holes to cover up. 
So that yeah. could play a role in it too. Uh, there could be a case of LA fatigue. All the coverage of LA makes people vote against AD. But I'm with Trilly. I think AD wins the award because the general consensus was that he was snubbed last year. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I want quick fire responses. Royal, what do you think Duncan Robinson's ceiling is? <laughs> the floor. <laughs> but no, I think Duncan Robinson high end is Kyle Corver. <laughs> like the, the amount of attention Kyle Corver got at his peak, I think that's what Duncan Robinson can attract. Trilly? Pager. King's Pager. Okay. I like that. I like that. I think he's already better than prime Kyle Corver, wouldn't you think? Because he just had the greatest cash and suit season in NBA history. Yeah, I think he's better than him as a basketball player. But I was just I guess I was focused on the attention that Kyle Corver used to demand. Like that you always had to have eyes on where he was at the court. Otherwise he gonna, you know, hit four or five threes on your ass. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking at all the questions right now and they're all about Harden. So <laughs> Every single one, and we hit on all of them. So, oh, by the way, one last thing: now that Giannis is out the door, like that doesn't mean the Heat can't trade for anyone who has a, a contract past twenty twenty one. So, a lot of guys are now on the table. We're in the trade market now. Yeah, let me ask you this: like, if Giannis would have signed that extension like a month ago, would he have traded for CP three? If what would it have cost? That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> I mean, they traded with Ubre, Rubio, and just a first round pick. Yeah, uh, I would have. I would have traded. That's a really good question. I think I would have, if we knew that Giannis wasn't coming two years ago. I would have done it last year when Chris Paul's contract was seen as terrible and and unmovable and. So you would have traded with Houston for him. Yeah, I would have traded with Houston. No, with OKC after he got traded to Houston, right? Before OKC season. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, like if we knew that Giannis, there was no shot, I would have traded from then because now that you look back at it, a CP3 on this Heat team that went to six against the Lakers, like like it sucks. They they could have really they could have won. So Mm-hmm. But very but yeah, sad. Nah. <laughs> you don't seem very sad. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, I already no, witnessed uh, three championship in my lifetime, so like, yeah, that's fair. I mean, I, uh, I just need the Dolphins to win a Super Bowl, and I'm good. And the Canes. No, I the mean, Canes, we, we had a time with the Canes. Yeah, yeah, we won oh, one. We but I was, young. yeah, I was probably in pre-K or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little bit older than that. I saw the Canes. I saw two Marlins championships. <laughs> I seen the Heat. I have nobody seen the Dolphins. <laughs> no, not nobody. Not my mom, not my he hasn't seen the Dolphins. Yeah, my mom wasn't alive when the Dolphins last won. <laughs> was Ethan alive for the for the Dolphins? Yeah, uh, this is 1972. Yeah, he was definitely around. Damn, yeah. you guys calling Ethan old? He is. He, old. he calls himself old. <laughs> like. Forty-seven. He makes it known publicly how old he is. I, I don't know. I just know he's old. <laughs> and I don't. I don't care. I'll say it all day. He. He, he basically. He, he put me out to the sharks yesterday on the pod. <laughs> so. I'll say whatever I want. There he is. There's Ethan. Hubie Brown, old damn. Hubie Brown still alive? Yeah, he is. He's gonna be announcing games from his crib, like from the house. Good. That's Good a legend him. right there. Good for him. All right, so I think I think that's it for the day. This is the first episode. Thank you once again, Trilly, for coming on the show. Of course. Uh, I, I'm really happy that you were able to come on. And uh, any last words? Or final um, thoughts, rather? No, nothing at all. <laughs> don't follow me on Twitter because, yeah, I'm tired of people crying on my mention. So, yeah, don't put my <laughs> at name under there. Fair follow enough. Clutch NBA. I mean, Clutch Adam, NBA, and Royal A. Shepard. <laughs> Any final words, Royal? Nah, I think this is a good uh, start to what we got. We still in preseason form. This is our first game. So, uh, y'all look for more of this uh, in the future. All right. All right. Trilly, thank you once again. We want to have you back. Please come back as soon as possible. And Have your, have your peoples call my peoples. <laughs> we, can, we can discuss a contract. 
we'll, we'll do since, it. We'll since do Giannis it. is off the board, I'm the next free agent available. That's right. That's right. All right, man. <laughs> True All hero right. two first. All right. All right, everybody. All right, take thank, it easy. Thank you again for watching.